Hi Libra, Shara here. So today we are going to do a general checkup, see what's going on with you guys and get you some advice. If this uh, message resonates, make sure that you like and subscribe. And let's get into it. Okay, so the overall energy is quest. So you could be learning something. Your spirit guides could be leading you into your destiny. You could be taking a journey or traveling. But since the overall energy is discovery, I think this has something to do within you. Like you learning your lesson um, in whatever it is that you need to learn it in. Everybody's story is going to be different. So let's get into it. I feel like some of you are learning yourself and how, like, learning how to deal with certain issues that you may have had in the past. All right, what is going on with Gemini? Angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. What is going on with Gemini? Okay, so to me, the Hierophant is like about discipline and order. And this is kind of like something is holding you back. Maybe you're not saying how you feel in a certain situation. This could have something to do with a relationship, maybe like a platonic relationship that you would like to have um, move forward into something deeper. So we have the two of swords reverse. This is like taking action, like realizing what you need to do, okay? Realizing what needs to happen in your situation, your environment, in order to move forward. Okay. For some of you, there could be conflict about... Okay, some of you, you're probably partying too much or you're not being social enough. That's kind of the thing with Gemini. It's one or the other, right? I feel like the blockage here, um, which I haven't pulled a card, but the blockage is like you're not communicating what you mean and taking action on that. Because if you were communicating properly with your person, then you're not going to have this setback. Let me clarify. This is way too many cards. I am not going to take that. I think you guys need to get out and party a little bit. Because um, it's almost like Maybe you have friends and you don't feel like going out. This is like, you know, inviting. Oh, maybe somebody invited you over and it's a third party situation. You know, look at that big stick right there. I mean, he's just polishing that up. Okay, so... For some of you, okay, for some of you, this is going to be kind of weird, but I'm going to say it anyway. You may be entering into, like, some new sexual experiences. You're really, like, doing the thing, okay? Maybe, like, doing a little dress up. Maybe, like, you know, doing something outside of what you normally do. This is like communication coming in, right? 
for some of you, if this is not a love situation, um, somebody is going to be telling the other person how they feel and how it makes them angry. So you may be on the outs with somebody and you're both just taking your time to like kind of, you know, fuck around and just have your fun. Oh, yep. Okay. That's like explosive, dirty, naughty sex. That is. That's pretty rad. Okay. So, you're on the outs with somebody. You're not talking to them. You want to call a truce, but not before you get some ass or some dick first, right? Mm. Not bad. I don't condone cheating, though. But if you're on the outs with somebody, have fun. How's this person coming toward Gemini? Oh! they want to get their point across they are mad you know they want the opportunity bro look this hoe is mad as fuck what did Gemini do to make this person so mad okay either you you might have some addictions you party too much um, if it's not that, then you're just restricting yourself because, um, this person is, listen, if somebody is going to jail, make sure that you get good legal um, advice. Okay, but I'm seeing here that the reason that this person is mad at you is because you're closed off. You're not making yourself, you know, kind of open with them, which is what they want. Could be a Scorpio. We've got fire, um, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Um, and then we have Scorpio here. So, all right. So, this person might want to take the connection a little bit deeper. For some of you, I just, I see a lot of travel here. There's delays. And maybe like somebody's pushing you to like come see them. Right? You know. Trying to get you to be more social. How's Gemini coming toward this person? How's Gemini coming toward... Oh, okay. So, I feel like... You could interpret this a million ways, but the way that I see it along with these other cards, I feel like you're being very smug. You're very satisfied with where you are. It's like, you know, Gemini don't have to take any shit. Gemini doesn't have to do anything that Gemini doesn't want to do. Okay, so you're up here sitting looking good and this other person, because look, for real, this is this person, you know, they're just like one of your ops. One of your options, okay? Okay, th this is like a new start, okay? I think that you have somebody else that could potentially be like the real deal. This other person just seems like they're not very happy. They're grumpy. They're grouchy. They're bitchy. They don't have their own thing going on. So they're codependent on you to make them 
you know, kind of complete their experience. And you can't really do that. You can't make somebody happy. They have to do that themselves. Here, let's get the blockage here. What is the blockage between Gemini and their person? What is the blockage between Gemini and their person? Workaholic? Overall energy is gossip. So you could work with somebody that this person doesn't like and Maybe you're working a lot. This could be vice versa. Crosswatcher, if you are dealing with a Gemini, then this could be your story. And this is also for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So please check your placements. But somebody's a workaholic here. Here's what I think. I think Gemini, you or your person, it's... Okay. I feel like you are kind of pulling back because this person is a little more aggressive or pushy than you would like them to be. And maybe you are like overworking and this person thinks that you are cheating. Okay. For singles, for singles, you could be overworking yourself so that you can like travel or you can do something we've got a lot of travel here like I mean we've got travel and then there's like travel delays so if you're single then you may be like overworking to go see a friend or a, a potential lover or something like that. All right, let's get you some advice. What's your advice to Gemini regarding the situation? And guys, if this reading is resonating, please hit the like. And if you would like a personal reading, you can check out my website. It's linked in the description and I will also link it in the comments. What's your advice for Gemini? Oh, I'm going to have to clarify that. This could be about you um, working on your money situation to become more stable and established. And um, then it could also be that there's somebody with money coming in your future. So... Clarify. Okay, yeah, I don't see anybody with money coming in your future. It could be, but um, I'm not seeing... You know what? It actually could be. But here's how I'm taking it. This is how I feel that Spirit is leading me to read this. So, you need to focus on your finances because things are kind of wonky right now. And you need this um, time to do your workaholic stuff so that you can be happy. Okay, so maybe you're ignoring friends, maybe ignoring people so that you can work and make money because you feel like things are kind of off kilter. So, yeah. Yeah. And the overall energy is the Knight of Swords reverse. It's like you don't want to make any impulse decisions. You. This is also travel delays. Um, also travel delays. So um, I don't know what your situation is. Let me know in the comments um, if this resonates with you. So that is all that I have for you today, Gemini. If you would like to get a personal reading, you can check out my website, sharakennedytarot.com. And um, I will talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Bye.